What is up everyone, Nick Just Gaming here. In today's video, I'll be going over a Minecraft add-on or an MC pack. If you don't know what Caked Up is, it's basically an MC pack that allows you to use this menu. And with this menu, you can basically give yourself items and it also comes with a bunch of PVP options. As this video is being made, most of the clients are currently not working. However, Caked Up is working, though it is not a client. Caked Up works for anything that you can use a resource and behavior pack on. So you can use this on PC, you can use this on an iPhone, an Android, a PlayStation, an Xbox. Anything that supports the newer updates of Minecraft Bedrock Edition add-ons and resource packs, behavior packs. So if you want to go ahead and use Caked Up, I left everything in the description. You can go ahead and join their Discord. You can get Caked Up. Perhaps you've never used a behavior pack or resource pack, or you just want to see how to use it, then please stay tuned. In order to get caked up, you want to go ahead and join their Discord. Link is in the description. For this, you don't have to turn off your real-time protection. It is a MC add-on. And as you can see here, you can go ahead and click on this link and download it. For iPhone users or Android users, you can go ahead and do the same thing. Join their Discord and just click on the link. I'm using an iPhone X Max, so it might be different for Android users. But you can go ahead and open it in Minecraft. For Android, you might actually have to put the file inside of a Minecraft folder. Once you load in, it should say that the MC add-on pack has been imported successfully. Now, like any other resource or behavior pack, you can enable this in the main menu or you can enable it before you enter a game when doing this you do have to enable all the experimental options and you have to enable cheats this goes for all platforms if you're on xbox playstation pc anything you have to enable all the experimental options and you have to enable cheats Back on PC, you can basically see it's the same thing as if you are on a mobile device. You want to go ahead and apply these options and you can also do it twice if you do it through the main menu and you can do it through here as well. But once you are done applying the settings like I'm doing here, you can go ahead and load into a world. No matter what platform you're on, you're going to need to open up the console commands. You'll need to type in slash function caked up slash enable. And once you do this, you should be given a cake. Now once you get a cake, you can go ahead and hold down on your screen. And every time you do that, it will go down an option. And to select an option, you have to crouch on iOS. And to do that, if you don't know, you double tap the center button of the movement. Options that you should not enable for iOS would be like the die option or the combust option or any option that will basically kill your character. If you do enable those options, it'll just put you into a death loop. You can also use the same command, but you can add a player and give it to them. Now on PC to actually use this menu, you just right click and you press shift to enable an option. It's pretty simple. With this, you can pretty much murder an ender dragon in like a second. Oh, and uh, yeah, test out the uh, gun mode because that's pretty good. Now, the menu is still currently being worked on. If you know Schnags, he is one of the leading developers of this project. He is working alongside with Dribs, and so this project is still under development. As of now, a lot of the give and PvP options seem to work very well. I am hoping to see that they add much more to this, and it's a pretty smart idea, considering that it works for more than just PC users. And so that's pretty much all that I have for this video. Thank you all so very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.